Hello and welcome back to this episode where we will continue our main story of Might and Magic 7 for Blood and Honor. But first we are going to play a uh, Archimage Ma uh, game, I mean. Um, drink. Um, first we will fill our pack. Stone soup. 18 days of food. So let's see this dwarven uh, innkeeper here will play us. And he will say set the rules for uh, for this Archimage game. Okay. One hundred tower and three hundred resources. Let's go. As you can see, the dwarves really likes their wall building. So there we are starting with a high wall and low resources in gems and magic because the dwarves are known to be uh, not very into magic so, so i think this but i think this game will be fairly easy at this point. we had a great start i think a lot of bricks and quarry here uh, but we need more magic get our tower up to a hundred so let's hope for a blue card or uh... what makes us pump up the magic he already have two. We got a play again card, which we are going to play now. Oh. In the start, I thought this will be easy, but I can see now that it might not be that easy. Uh, the win condition for this game are definitely not to take down the turret, I mean the wall, and then the tower. We clearly have enough beasts to do it, but the wall will build itself up as you see there. It might actually be best for us to farm 100 uh, 300 beasts for... No! <laughs> I was going to play that. As I was saying, uh, for this uh, game, I think the best way to go is to farm beasts. <sighs> but I think uh, we can't do that in this game because he is already above us. In and tower. <laughs> this is not looking good. Oh, not very good at all. Well, no. I think we are losing this one. We can hope for him to be stupid and uh, oh I needed that. We can hope that he's stupid enough to <laughs> win this. But he only need uh, 13 more tower. Oh the dragon And he already have a lot of beasts. Maybe we can get past the tower. That's the only th uh, way I can win now. I see. In six turns, he wins in resources. Or he will win in tower. If I... Another dragon! What is this? I got two dragons in three rounds. Never happened before. Okie dokie. I need 10 tower. So if I can get this one, then this, I win. Uh, in two 
three turns he will win. So I use I spend seven gems to this, get four, then I have uh, five, then I need ten. I can actually pull it off. If he if he doesn't hurt my tower I win. If my <laughs> no. Okay, he will win the next round. I miscalled. I lost. Okay, one more time. Oh, magic right away. This is better. Okay, let's not uh, focus on uh, get his, uh, getting him his wall down. Let's just uh, keep all these stacked high. And uh, try to win that way. For now we are getting much uh, magic, so maybe another dragon is this. He's already... <laughs> yeah, he is winning in beasts again, I can see. Wait a minute. Nine plus six is fifteen. If I can, no. I need a higher wall. Then I can use this to attack his tower. Then I can use this to attack his tower. But it will not be enough. And I can use this. Oh no, this will be a hard one. If this attacks his tower, mm. uh, I need to be, I need to have the higher wall to attack his tower so let's see let's play this card and then oh, again card okay then attack his tower and then this and let's hope for uh <laughs> no no I can't uh, destroy his tower. Not enough good cards. Mm, let's go for a tower then. It's only a hundred. Now I don't have any walls. <sighs> oh my god, I have so good cars, but I cannot use them. Uh, okay. This will come in handy. So, uh, I need walls. can collapse him and then I want to get a new card and then I want to discard this and play this card. Uh, now I'm, I can't lose now that would be very stupid Five tower there, three tower there. I need wall though. He will only sacrifice if I play again. I need eight tower, please. Only 
five tower. Um, Here's the winning card, Emerald, and here we go, Irving the Innkeeper. So the good thing is that you don't have to win uh, the first games, you can lose 100 games and still, able, and still you are able to complete the quest. So let's save the game, we now have 7 wins, oh they're counting my losses as well. Yeah, my game crashed, so yeah, I have I have won the Archmage, you don't have to play that again. <laughs> that was... that was good. So let's uh, just run to the dwarves. They are around here. We have water walk, so we will just skip this. Get right to it. Up here. I'm not sure if we can get straight up here. Yeah, that's working, but that will take a long time. Ow! <laughs> no, this will take too long. Okay, let's walk around then. chest here or is this one I no I think it's the the quest my chest we just passed uh, there, there's the golem part for the uh, sorcerer quest Here is where my game crashed actually, so I'm saving the game here and entering. Huh. Let's go! Let's go. And there's very. It's very dark inside the uh, dwarven tunnels, so we need torchlight. And here is an other tavern. Which means we have to. The store is closed. It's closed. Why is it closed? It's the middle of the night. Why? Come in. Okay. Drink. You're just going to jump right into that. Oh! Uh, this clearly. I can see right away that this will not take. Seven. You need tower to 100 and already are 50. That's good, and you have a ton of resources to start with. Which are but I only have green cards, and that mean destruction cards. There we go, there's a green card. Only sort of left then. 25. Uh, real life tournament 
in this game. It would be very much similar to the rock, paper, scissor tournaments that are going on somewhere in the world. If you're good in rock, paper, scissor, you're probably good in uh, Arc Rage too. Which I think is pure luck. If you are one of those guys that thinks, uh, no, you can be good with rock, paper, scissors. Well, <laughs> yeah, maybe, but uh, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, there's a psychological uh, game also with rock, paper, scissors. Uh, yeah, maybe that is. But. I lost! <sighs> That's the karma. I'm just talking trash about the uh, rock, paper, scissor players and then the karma strikes me. Well, uh, maybe there are some sides probably the, the rock, paper, scissor, but I think it mainly is luck, like in this game. So I'm getting much more useful cards to win this because the win condition is clearly get your tower to 100. It's the fastest way, yes. I'm winning this. I can't see any anyway. Only need ten more, and I have ten more here. Next round, I win. There you go. Save the game. Okay, then we have eight wins. Um. We need to speak to the Dwarven King, and he is sitting around on his throne here. And if you are getting stuck uh, in these dwarves, you can press C? No. What's the yell button? Y? Yeah! yeah. Y for a yell. Yell at them. You scare them away. Then you can pass them, because they are... Pretty big creatures. Oh, there are barrels inside there. We need barrels to prove. And there are also a uh, quest in here we need. Here's the throne room where the Dwarven King is. Opfar the Knight. Rescue dwarfs, and here is a potion that can cure those dwarfs that have been turned to stone. To rescue them. Maybe Hail. I can find my um, wind monster in here because we need a wind monster at some point. Or actually. We can get master in magic now. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I was, I was say screw the events and just go on with the uh, leveling. There's the quest. Uh, that is for clearing out the troglodytes that are living Greetings. under this. Uh, How are you? Huh. Maybe I will train. Uh, I, let's see how expensive it is to train here. Uh, where is the trainer? It, it will be very stupid of me to train here if it costs a lot of money. Because I can train in Harmondale still. I think it's up to uh, level 15. Okay, orange intellect for our goblin druid. Yellow. Get away! Go! 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 
Move it. Move it. Red. Let's give all the might to my. Uh, I want him to get a hundred in might. Speed for my dwarf. And Hail. Move. Go. Oh, they are the, the hitbox are somewhere around them. I think they are wrongly. Yeah, there's something wrong with their hitbox. They're too big. So now my spell points is increasing. Here's the trainer. We'll have to come back. Yeah, we'll have it's close. We'll have to. How are you? A duper, which will help your your uh, merchant skill. No pain, no gain. Two hundred for each level. Oh, what? Did you see that? Why does it cost more? Ah. Yes, of course. In this, in in the very start, I said uh, dwarves and goblins hate each other. We are now in the uh, dwarven hound town, and if you are going to train here, you're going to pay up because <laughs> they really hate you. It only costs seventy-three gold to train with the dwarf, elf, and the human, but for the goblin, it costs. Four times as much. <laughs> so the goblin will attack your dwarves. I bet your dwarves will attack your goblin if there were any hostile dwarves. Well, okay. But seven, 73 gold. I can, I can do that. Good job. Okay, let's see. I was in uh, April or May. Good job. Good job. And let's good job. To good job. Good job. With every character. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Screw the event. Good job. Okay. Good job. This might bite me in the ass. Okay. Now it is September. <laughs> we have been here for a uh, well, May, June. July, August, September. For five months did we train here. <laughs> I hope I didn't screw up now. But now we have 61 skill points and we can get master in our schools of magic, which will help us a great deal. And especially our priests that have you no know, mind magic. Um, Maybe there are a mind magic trainer or a school of mind magic here. Mind magic, magic. I mean. Well, let's go to the troglodytes. I think they are down this path. Yes. Oh, I really hope I didn't screw this up. Hello. Can I get better in... Oh, the cleric can't learn arms master. That's weird, I guess. Um, do I really need to clear out the troglodytes? No, I will not do that because I'm not sure I'm strong enough to fight in close combat and that's yeah! definitely a place you will fight in close combat. So let's focus on the main story quest and getting master in my schools of magic here. Then we can skip the wind master. We don't have to recruit a companion. And we need spirit magic expert that we can get. Charism and bless for my characters. 
And mind magic. I want to... I need to travel to Arathia now. Okay, let's go back to... Let's go back to uh, Harmondale and go to Arathia from there. We have some trade to do. So if I can master in uh, my air magic, I can fly, which will make it more easy, faster, everything will be faster and easier. But another issue that has occurred because of my train all my levels. I have 10,000 and it cost 8,000 to get master in it and stuff, so... Um, I need some golds as well. And I have to look up... I have to look up something. And I need that... really need... I really need that um, mind magic uh, spell that can help me open chests. <laughs> oh my god. Did you hear my cat? <laughs> He's so pissed at me. I haven't peed into him since the morning. Uh, yeah, yeah, you are getting food. Don't worry. Uh, I'm reading while I'm running here. Uh, Mind magic. Train her levels. Well, yes, I did. So it doesn't matter. We need to go to Ratia. We need to go to. We need to go here first to get all the magic extra things here. Oh. Around 9,000 gold. I was just thinking, uh, what if it's the Earth spell that has that telekinesis? Welcome to the Earth Guild. This was clearly a low tier Earth shop. And here are mine, I think. Body. The Guild of the Body welcomes you. So we need poison cure, we need ray. Generation. We definitely need that. So let's buy this and that and the Guild of the Mind welcomes you. The Guild of the Mind welcomes you. Telepathy, mind blast, remove here. Flying fist. I can get master, or can I? Yeah, I can get master in every magic now. Welcome to the fire guild. If I can have, if I have the money for it, and I, oh, money is raining down on us. Let's see where the stable takes me. Traveling today? 
Okay, Tularian Forest. I can fight the trees to get some money there. Um, the coach leaves right away. So let's go here to get the spells that I need. And I can sell some stuff as well to get some money. I, I will do that first. Fine elfish weapons. Sell the axe and uh, let's sell this goblin sword as well. I never use swords. I will keep the staff. <laughs> Thank you. Or will I? No one can use staff, so no, I will not keep the staff. Okay, just sell the stuff then. Thank you um, for your pet for me. How may I help you? Here is the armor. Here is the armors that I have got. I need to sell this and this. We really need money, so I will not identify that. Okay, okay. It's been a pleasure, my friend. We have some money. I think we can oh we can go and sell some rings so looking for something special Up here. Let's sell this wand. These wands are not good. Thank you. And my cat is getting very impatient. I've learned it. Let's see. We need fly. Let's hope. Welcome to the air guild. Yeah, here's fly, and we can't afford that. <laughs> yes, we can actually afford it. So, is that the most crucial spell to have? I think so. That will make our playthrough a bit more easy. So, let's go fight some trees to get some money. I have glass. I do not have any other spells that I can use actually. I have. I have some spell points. I can maybe set my fireball Ready. as quick spell. Set my. No, she has that bow she can use. This character can use. She will run up very fast if she uses that. Ready. Let's see if if I can uh, I can shoot seven seven acid burst before she runs out. So let's go tree farming. Okay. Ow. Too easy. It's too unsafe to rest um, now. What? What is my hotkey for a quick spell again? <laughs> uh. Cost ready. Is it that? G. Just a scratch. Weakling. Oh, I'm stuck in that. Oh, that's supposed oh, to hurt. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. She 
didn't have a quick spell now. Yes. There we go. When, oh. uh, when everyone have a lot of spell points, I can do this. We play some damage. That's a monster. Save my spell points. Here. Is that supposed to hurt? Well, the trees do not drop any money, but my. But there are loot around, so we need. Where's the last tree? Oh, there's the last tree. And here are the ones I'm laying around. Is that supposed huh. to hurt? Oh, last. There we go. I have killed all the trees here. And I have 1,200 gold, which is not enough. Well, before the next episode, I will do some research and find out what spell I need to to um, uh, yeah to open chests from far away. I really need money, and uh, just, uh, I just... It really hurts hurt. my loot huh. goblin soul that I have to keep the chest. It's a bit more exciting place. And here is the last. Just a scratch. Whoa. It actually glitched and I looted it twice. Inside this uh, dungeon, it's Garrick's laboratory. Yeah. There are goblins and. Just a scratch. Uh, evil eye. Ice are very strong creatures and very annoying and of monsters because they will turn you insane and of monsters. sleep or dispel all your all your protective spells. Even wizard eye or anything you have on you. Let's see what happens then if we are opening this chest. I really miss having a thief. Oh, it was not trapped. Oh, well, okay. But the thief is only good for opening chests. It, it, it never will. It never will get any. It will get good in those combat, but it will never be the best. My bags are full. My druids will never be the best spellcasters, but I will have so much spell points at the end that I can just spam, shoot the um, bolt of fire and fireballs or uh, air magic spells, acid burst. I will shoot them like arrows. And uh, that will be very powerful. I'm not sure fighting titans with that method is the best. I have to see about that, but uh, I think it will work. Close combat is not out of the picture, or so. I can. What is this? I can do some close combat. I have a decent close combat here in my. Ow. Just a scratch. 
if I get the staggers, I can roll. Ow! Staggers Ow. are pretty costly. So I can hit by a while I had a knife. Yes! He would only hit the monster. Time it will be the same amount of damage. Here's the oldest tree. Oh, and you only <laughs> you only can talk to him once. No, what's happening? I want to talk to him. There you are. Are you the same workers I just talked to? You all look like to me, but the talking is good just the same. Blah 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 blah. Yeah. I think there is a quest to this oldest tree that I haven't finished. I'm sorry, I don't know what it is. So I never completed the quest. I think you can get the quest to talk to the oldest tree. My bags are full. Yeah, you have to check your uh, chests twice in case they are. I have no idea. So full that um, all the items doesn't fit the chest, then the it glitches, and makes it uh, reappear in the next time you click it. So I think I think I'm I can't get through here. <laughs> Well, let's do this. Do I have an empty bottle? No. I can drink this though. And water so now I have 4500 gold. That's not enough to get master in air magic. So, in the next episode, I really have to earn some money. Let's check the quests. Um, I really want to have fly, the fly spell before I go into the red dwarf mine to do the main story quest. So... Uh, I didn't return the feather. Ah, I need to get the rat again. Mm, kill all the troglodytes. I <laughs> maybe should have done that. There are chests there as well. Yeah, up chests. Oh, for the next, before the next episode, I will research what mind magic spell I need to open chests, and maybe I can get that and then I can open chest and really earn some money so next episode will be some grinding I suppose to get the spells and master level that I want and then we can do some serious fighting after that so thank you for watching and join me in the next episode where we will earn some money and get big spells thank you for watching bye bye